Hello, and welcome back to the Adrian Bauer Project. Thanks for choosing to click on my thumbnail and to watch my content. Very much appreciated, as always. Okay, so, good news is the COVID vaccines seem to be working uh, a lot better than what uh, was anticipated, which means that, that slowly but surely, a little too slowly for my liking, but slowly but surely, they are starting to lift some of the lockdown restrictions here in the UK, which means we can start having family and friends back round uh, to the house visiting very, very soon. Um, so, clear me your thoughts. Well, we're going to start and have a games night. So, we're going to need some games, aren't we? Uh, we've got uh, the uh, Warhammer game upstairs. Uh, there's the box set of the Underworlds uh, Beast Grave set. That's, I couldn't remember the name of it. Sorry then for a minute. But we thought, we've got to get something a little more different as well. Now, I went on to a book haul uh, video uh, that a fellow YouTuber had put, and for Christmas, he got this game, Jaws the Board Game. Now, uh, I was like, never heard of that. So, they had a, a quick, quick showing of what it was, and I thought, right, that's going to be a, a game for our games night. So, I thought, I'd buy, grab it. Grab a copy, buy a copy, <laughs> call it what it will, just grab one. Um, I got this for £20 from Amazon, which I will put a link in the description for if you want to get your hands on a copy. So today I'm doing a plain talk and review of Jaws the board game. I'm not going to be playing it, I'm just going to be showing you today what's in the box because obviously we've got to learn the rules and know how to play it properly before we do uh, a, a proper video of us actually playing the game. So there we go, we've got uh, the iconic poster of the film and the book on the front. Uh, it's by Ravensburger. Uh, the sides have just got jaws on. Then on the back, it does show you a little, sorry about the wobbly camera, uh, picture of the content. So I'll just bring this in, uh, just peeking around the back so I can see a good thing frame. So if you want to pause and read that, you can do. There we go, pause and read. So there we go, that uh, shows you what the contents of the box is and you've just noticed now that my pedestal is actually a roll of kitchen roll with the uh, black cover off my laptop over it. It's all smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors. Anyway, enough of the waffle. Uh, I'm going to swap places now and let's have a look what you get in the box. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look what's in the box. It's top loaded. And straight away, you'll notice what good quality card the box is made for from. Uh, excellent stuff for that. Keeps it all nice and safe when you pack it away. So this is what it looks like when you open the box. Um, got all the bits and bobs and the ball game. And there's nice little compartments to keep all your parts in when you're not playing the game. So, to move that out of the way. And first up, we have the instruction manual on how to play the game. Uh, it gives you the game's objective, uh, Act 1 and Act 2, because the game is played in two parts for the full version of the game. We can play a short version of the game just by playing either Act 1 and Act 2. It does explain this uh, inside the manual. Uh, the objective of the game is the crew wins the game if they eliminate the shark, obviously. Um, the person playing the shark, the shark wins if either it eliminates all three crew members or it destroys the orca. So, let me just bring that up there, just so you give a, 
little view of that and down at the bottom it says stop watch the how to play video so you go onto the Ravenberger site ravenberger.com jaws gameplay and it will show you how to play the game on there <clears throat> so over the page it's showing you act one which is amity island uh, telling you how to set it all up um, giving you hints and tips on what all the cards do and what they look like uh, it gives you an overview of act one and each game is played with three phases you get the event phase the shark phase and then the crew phase and that's giving you all the details you need to know there turn the page <clears throat> it goes into depth what each of the phases uh, entail and what you need to do so you've got shark phase there crew phase there and then it's carrying on there that's end of the round and end of act one on that page then we go on to act two which is the orca and that's giving you how to set it all up now on the uh, act two you've got the resurface options shark chooses crew prepares shark reveal crew attacks shark attacks so there's a bit more uh, involved in the uh, act two of the game but all the instructions that you need are there they are well written out and fairly easy to follow I have had a quick look at this myself so that's just telling you how all the, the game ends um, and on the back page it's giving you uh, instructions how to play each act separately so you can play act one separately and then it even gives you uh, frequently asked questions there uh, about each act so that's your inst instruction book okay so here we go and here's your board game uh, here's your board game the board that you play your game on so this is for act one i'll just try and get it so the light's not glaring on it that's amity island so we put all your parts and your pieces for Act 1 Then when it comes to play Act 2 you flip the board over and it's the Orca for Act 2 again it's a really good quality board that uh, as long as you're careful with it that'll give you years and years of uh, fun playtime that <laughs> where this is right on this one this card has got uh, push out pieces made of card these are all your tokens uh, all your tokens that you need for act one and act two and then on the back the pieces that are required for the or the orca on uh, the act two part uh, i'm not going to take them out the protective plastic uh, just yet so i say uh, we've got to read the rules learn how to play and then when I we do come to start playing the game I'll, I'll show you all the pieces out then but they are just card which you uh, just gently pop out okay so next up you've got in the box you've got uh, three compartments again now here's your games cards and they do come and it's rather nifty uh, resealable little packet one of those of those uh those strips along that you can reseal a lot of uh, games companies just will will put them in shrink wrap so then you have to find your own versions of those but there we go so just going to uh show you some of the cards so the top card for your shark ability we've all got the same picture of the shark on the back and this one just says domino effect if the shark damages or destroys boat space apply two hits to one boat space that is adjacent to the targeted boat space so uh, sorry about the shakes just telling you uh, the abilities of your shark then you've got your resurface cards there uh, amity events all these cards you will learn about in the instructions uh, crew gear uh, Hooper gear, I think that's just his, uh, he gets a hammer on that one. <laughs> and 
Quint gear. So there are all the cards that you need to play the game. I'll put those away after I've finished the video. So uh, let's not panic about it. I'll just put them in there. This next one up again, it's in another receivable bag. Well done Ravensburg for that one. Really appreciate that. So on this, you've got this little notepad. This is a shark tracker because if you're playing the part of the shark, you've got to know uh, right down where you put uh, your, shark, your shark piece and you've got to remember where it is, but you don't tell the other players. So it's a nice little, uh, nice little tracker so you can keep in mind uh, where you've put your pieces. Uh, there are quite a few. Oh, there we go. Right way up. There are quite a few, uh, a few pages in that. I think what I'd do is I'd do it in pencil. Then you can rub it out, and then when that top sheet's unusable, you can go to the next one. Uh, I don't know whether you can get. Uh, extras of these from Ravensburg site. I'll have to go on and have a look. But uh, if, if you can't, and Ravensburgers are watching, could be an idea that. Then you get uh, the cards. So if you're playing the game and you're playing the game as Quint, that's the card that you'll have. And you've got. That's all that you use for Act 2. Uh, these numbers here, you do get a little clip that you slide up and it uh, all corresponds with the rules of the game. Let's say when you buy it, you find find out what it's for. Then you've got one for Chief, for Chief Brody, you've got one for Hooper, and then you've got one if you're playing the part of the shark or with Act 1 and Act 2 on the back. And then finally in here, uh, another resealable bag. Uh, those are the little clips that, uh, like I said, you, you clip it on onto the side of there. And when you've completed each little thing there, you can move your clip up and down. So there we go. This little bag there, you've got three dice on. They've got... Uh, explosions on them. I think this is for hits and misses dice. Then in this bag, this little bag here, you've got your playing pieces. Um, so you've got three little figures there. So you've got Quint, Hooper and Brody. Uh, that's your part, part if you're playing part of the shark. And uh, I'm assuming that's the orca there as well. Uh, I think they might have done a little better on these. Let me just take them out because I don't think you've seen them properly through the bag. So, as you can see, that's your little, that's your little piece there. Oh, sorry, back the camera. It's all you're going to need, but I think we might have gone a little bit further on some kind of design on them. I don't know. That could just be me. Uh, move your boat. But there are your pieces for going around the board with. Oh. See, this is why I just leave everything till after when I put away, because today my shakes are a little worse than what they normally are. So... That is all the contents of the box in there. And like I say, the price for this, I got it from Amazon for £20, which I think a uh, pretty reasonable cost. Um, I have watched a couple of videos of people playing it. Looks a fun game, looks relatively easy. And uh, I think to kick off our games night with this, uh, especially when I've got my mate Pete round and alcohol is involved, then you don't get much dull for laughing. So I think we're going to have a really enjoyable night, <laughs> who were misses. So that's what you get inside um, the Jaws game box. It all packs away very, very neatly. Like I say, it's a strong box, so you don't have to worry about that. 
Uh, the ages on it, it says it's two to four players, ages 12 and up. Now, I have read the reviews on Amazon of the game, and a lot of people on there have said that they actually enjoy the, the gameplay more when there are just two players than when there are uh, four players, uh, mainly due to the fact that uh, when you've got four players, it takes longer to go. But um, like I say, I, I think these people were playing the game sans alcohol so <laughs> so you will know you'll never know what's going to happen um one too many uh sherbets and i think we'll be thinking that the sharks real and daring each other just to nip to the loo who's going to sit on it first but i'm waffling now so there we go jaws the board game i think it's a nice little compact game that's what you want nothing too complicated there's no batteries involved, no online downloading, this, that and the other. It's a good old-fashioned board game. Uh, I think a lot more people are getting back into these. I think they're just fed up of uh, all your computer-generated uh, garbage. You do want something tangible, something you can hold in your hand and parts you can move about yourself. Um, but that could just be the old duffer in me because that, that's the way I like to play games as well. But uh, there we go. So... Marks, uh, my evil Edna's out of five as usual. Uh, I think I'm going to knock oh, probably half a mark off for because of the little figures. They were a little too uh, too basic. I can imagine as well that they're, they're not going to stand up. You'll be better off laying them down to move them around. But that's just a slight niggle, and just for the contents of the box and the price, I'm going to say. For Evil Edners, I'm going to give Jaws the Board Game for Evil Edners. And that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that one. Please remember, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my channel, it'd be very much appreciated. And also, don't forget to ring that little notification bell.